Welcome to Neveryday Unnaturals. This is my living room. That is my Xbox and my PlayStation and my TV. This is one of my new yet to prints. The canyon between a thing and its description. I made it with a mobile photo editor and a picture of this sculpture over here. You can snag it off my Instagram if you want one for your wall. Anyways, for this installment, I'm going to give you all a tour of my favorite makeup looks from June. Here are two understated ways to wear band-aids. On the right, light gray, which is low contrast with my light skin color, makes a subtle yet unique stripe under one eye. While on the left, a shark patterned band-aid is paired with a paint splattered one in parallel gills on my throat. It's not right on my face, so it's a little less bold. But to take bandages up a level, collaging multiple styles and colors can turn them from just makeup to accessories. This is a great way to get into band-aids if you're nervous about wearing them on your face. But I'm not nervous, and I love this look. This is a combination of purple bandages cut long ways to make them a little thinner, and white pencil for the highlight. Let's see, where should we go next? Um, oh, wedding photo. This is the look I wore to my friend Andrea's wedding. I made the dress myself, of course, but I found this amazing necklace at a shop in the Mission. It's a peyote flower necklace made by a native Weichel artist, and I fell in love with it at first sight. The makeup was inspired by the necklace and drawn entirely by my husband. We would totally win at one of those my husband does my makeup challenge videos. Here's a very simple all white look of just shaded rectangles done entirely with one white pencil. I put this pair together to show some contrast. Both have large area work, but on the right is a colorful rendition with elaborate eyebrows I wore at VidCon, while on the left is a stark look of just black and white. Oh, this is another VidCon look. As I've gotten braver and more skilled, I've started to play with how to utilize lines both near my brows and on the side of my head. Oh, and this one I actually did in a Sephora while I was testing their makeup, and I just wanted to use all of the colors. I think it turned out really well. I really love this green line, but it was impossible not to smudge. The red eyebrows, however, lasted all day. And no, those are not the same dress. Those are two different dresses I made from the same fabric. I should really make some fashion videos, too. Since I've started making all my new clothes, my wardrobe has gotten way more interesting. Is there anything left? Oh, on the top shelf, I think? Yes, one last one. This is also a VidCon look with just a mix of large area color and pencil detail. And that's it for my first lookbook. And since all of these were just from June 2K16, I'm sure I'll have plenty more to share soon. Have any thoughts on which looks you liked best? Tell me in the comments below, and thanks for watching.